Hi and welcome back to the Restless Recluse. Today I'm just going to touch a bit further on how I came to choose this WR250R for this trip and some of the things that I've done to modify it over the years. I picked up this bike in 2015 locally here on Vancouver Island. It's a 2008 that had about 10,000 kilometers on it. Uh, the previous owner um, had put on aftermarket wider foot pegs, he'd put uh, heated handlebar grips in and he put on an aftermarket tail rack. Um, one of the first things I did when I picked it up was to put on the IMS 4.7 gallon fuel tank as well as um, how was it, well, the Sandman case saver and the double take mirrors which aren't installed but that's where they go. If you're unfamiliar with them I would suggest you look into them, they're a really good piece of kit. In preparation for this trip um, I thought long and hard about getting a different bike and decided on this uh, to go with what I had for a couple of reasons. Number one, already familiar with it. Um, number two, the WR, while a bit slower on the highway, um, has excellent cargo capacity and is light and nimble enough for the type of driving I anticipate. I did a tour through uh, Mexico a number of years ago on a 1300cc um, cruising bike and it was a whole lot of work in hot tropical climates, um, banging that thing around in traffic and out on um, out in the jungle roads. And frankly, I wouldn't want to have to recreate that. It's exhausting, especially at my age. So lighter is good, and frankly, slower is good too, because it allows me to slow down and actually enjoy the journey and not fall into the hurry up and get there mindset. I'm anticipating uh, between my weight and the weight of all the gear of about... Um, 250 pounds total. Um, the bike's good for a good 280 pounds of, of payload, so I think we're well within tolerances there. As you can see, the bike's no longer stock in many respects. Um, I've tried to focus on modifications that would be specific for this trip, as opposed to just upgrades for the sake of upgrades. Um, but having said that, there's been a lot of money I've put into the bike. I've taken it right down to the frame. Um, all the wiring has been uh, cleaned up. Uh, the lights have all been replaced with LED. I've um, how was it? I put that big nacelle on. Um, I put the um, crash bars on. I put on a steering damper from Scotts. I added an additional tail rack on top of the factory one to spread the load out a little further. I've got my um, tire repair kit tool tube here and a whole host of other little up up upgrades and additions that I can get into as time goes by. So that's about it for now. Um, stay tuned and I'll go into a bit more detail when the sun's not blinding me in the eye and um, I can talk a bit more about some of the gear and uh, some of the preparations I've done for this trip. Okay, until then, 